It's time to have fun at the movies again. We got great guests, interesting conversations, sneak peeks at the latest films, and I gotta tell you, sometimes we don't agree on everything. It's On Cinema at the Cinema with me, your host, Tim Heidecker. Hi everybody, my name is Tim Heidecker. This movie is worth seeing, but it's disgusting and a disgrace to movies. I have to say, this is kind of the gone with the wind of Wolverine movies, the old Clark Gable classic, in that it's a long movie. I'm afraid that if this continues, um, it's going to start affecting the reviews that I give your movies. And Joe, did you have any thoughts on the uh, <coughs> Ant-Man movie? Well, uh, oh, the Ant-Man movie. The, with, Infinities, with... the Infinity War? Uh, well, I haven't seen it yet. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't have a, a tumor, and but I love the movie. Hey! Shut up or I'll punch you in your mouth. Peter. L-E-P-E-N-I-O-T-I-S. Peter Lepinipinus. Uh, the Green Inferno? Didn't see it, don't care, it's crap. I'm gonna give it five bags of popcorn and one uh, turban. And God bless the troops. Now I use this as my show. If I wanna talk about whatever I wanna talk about, I'm gonna do it. Welcome right. to the new machine, Rock and Roll 2.0, Decker. And I love you. I okay. love you for being well, I love uh, that you put me in this position. His heart is pounding away, so that's a good sign. That's He's terrific. breathing. That's good for that. Um, good for him. And the only reason you are here is by the grace of God. And that right now, my friend, is me. All right, well, why don't we just disagree to disagree? The thing that makes me mad is this show is supposed to be about movies. Is mm -hmm. I'm also working on a book of my own called Hog Shots. I, I, I'm not in a position to seek, to seek vengeance. Okay. Well, I don't want the ideas from my head to come out of my nose. I want everything to stay inside. <laughs> this is something you're not going to find everywhere uh, or anywhere. It's a Spanish language uh, version of Jurassic Park. I was kind of haunted by the ghost of James Bond. Uh, yes. Well, Thank you for that. Interesting. Yeah. Yes. More important things in life than movies. That's a fact. Yeah, like taking care of your baby. No, no. You know, you get people that live to be 100 years old, like George Burns, and you think, geez, do we really enjoy the last few movies he made when he was in his 90s? Not really, you know? If I was black, that's like calling me the N-word. That's the white N-word. It's not zoned, uh, you know, for a party atmosphere. Okay. The Boss Baby, starring, directed by Hendel Butt Boy. No, you Nobody were just saying that you'd made mistakes, and I was just mentioning one in case you forgot that one. I cannot see, said the blind man. Uh, train spotting, which was a great movie about the horrors of uh, drug addiction, which is something uh, that I'm familiar with uh, from um, working on this show. All right. Anyway, um... I'm trying to be nice to you here. Nobody here likes you. Potatoes. Potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Potatoes! Potatoes! Great. I want you to go away so that we can talk about movies. I was getting guys that were involved with KKK. Five bags of popcorn and two little pills that people think are probably steroids, but in fact it's just vitamin C. I'm a perfect person. The people around me are flawed and full of shit. You're gonna give me some time to do it or you're just gonna keep talking about drugs? What is the role of government in our lives? Uh... I don't have any interest in hearing what he has to say. Good. Okay. We don't even have any other movies to talk about. All right, that's it. Get the lights. I did. What, I did what was right for this show. Now go to bed. Nothing to do with this show. I will go to bed. Sleeping every night.